Welcome to Dent Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Orasonic Rockets. This is a 5.1 millimeter micro dynamic driver. Um, and the one reason that's a good thing is because balanced armature earphones are prone to fluctuations in frequency response um, depending on the source you connect them to because of the output impedance. Dynamic drivers are not prone to that issue. Um, so you'll plug these into anything and you'll get a consistent sound as designed. Um, the rockets are claimed to be waterproof. Um, I haven't tested that claim, but say they say they are. Um, they're made to be very, very durable. They're very, very small. And they're very, very um, customizable on, on how you wear them. And what I mean is that these can be worn over the ear, so that you put them in your ear and you wrap them around your ear. They can be worn straight down, so you put them in your ear and just let them hang. They can also be worn with what they call anti-loops. These essentially go over the earphone and whenever you put them in your ear they hold them in place so that if you wear them around the ear and these anti-loops are in place um, it keeps them from shifting or spinning in your ear which is good if you're moving around if you're doing any sporting things like that um, it'll keep them from rotating and moving so they'll stay in position in your ear. So the housing is titanium um, in this particular model which I think is the standard if I'm not mistaken um, the housing is this nice blue titanium and you can see the grill in there that I believe is just for protection of debris I don't think it serves as a filter I could be wrong the cable is uh, a braided cable and it has a very very nice feel to it there is a red for the right ear and the blue for the left ear, it's the color coded. And um, basically, this is the best cable that I think I've ever seen on an earphone. I just, I really like it. Um, just to kind of give you an overview of the cable, it has the nice feel to it where it's, it's not too soft. It feels pretty durable, um, but it doesn't hold a memory, so you can bend it around and then it goes back to its original shape so it's pretty pretty flexible one thing I really like about it um, is the cord lock it's a very nice cord lock it shifts when you want it to um, and it stays in place when you want it to it doesn't move so it's just the right amount of pressure to hold the wires together as you slide it up um, but not enough to move around so which makes it very usable and then possibly my favorite part of the cable is the Y split section um, the reason I like that so much is because a lot of earphones will join the wires at the Y split into one wire on the bottom half of the earphone. The problem with that is at the Y section, um, they usually merge the wires physically with um, splicing or different you know techniques. And what happens there is it adds a point of failure because the sheathing could be pulled out of the Y split as it you know bends and wears and there's just more likelihood that you're gonna have a failure there. Whereas this here is technically the equivalent of just putting a piece of tape around the wire. Nothing is really affecting the wires durability. It's just kind of grabbing them and keeping them together from that point on and they're at this point they're sealed together with glue or however they're sealed. Um, so there's really no point of failure and it's small and it's compact and it serves its purpose. It's a very good length. I'd say it's an average length cable. And then the right angle connector, sort of a half right angle connector. Um, it's a little bit bulky compared to some connectors on earphones, but it's really not that bad in use. Um, and it's got some stress relief, gives it a little bit of flexibility. Um, the rubber itself is a little bit flexible on the chunk here, but it's, it's, it becomes pretty hard and firm as it connects to the um, main bo body here. There's an extended ring right here, which basically allows it to fit in a lot of different iPhone and iPod type cases by allowing it to, you know, protrude beyond the case before this bulky part starts, which is kind of a nice feature. Um, it has a little bit of length and in, in bulk, but it, it's probably worth it for a lot of the cases that are out there and the people that use them. Uh, all in all, it's very durable. It feels solid, and I like the design. And I do, I do kind of like that right angle. I prefer a straight right angle, um, but I think they did a good job with this, and it still works well. So I like this. It's a very nice cable. Um, if you see here on the housing, there's this flanged part that looks like a rocket, probably hence the name. Um, you can put any tips on in front of that, 
and that just serves to add I believe the extra seal and possibly the waterproofing I'm not really sure and it also has a point to grab and pull the earphone out of your ear because you don't typically want to pull cables when you're pulling earphones out of your ear because you can damage them over time although I will say that these feel durable enough that you could do that but you can grab the flange of the rocket and you can pull it out of your ear that way it works really well um, basically the sound quality of these I would say is is very good um, so to jump right in, uh, the frequency response is good. It's not the best, but it's good. And the other traits like distortion and things like that, to me, all sound very, very good. Um, I don't notice any audible distortion. I don't notice any audible peaks or dips that are um, distracting. But what I do notice is that the treble of this earphone is sort of um, more relaxed, and I'd call it rolled off. It's not as bad as something like the Shure 535, um, where that kind of has a Grand Canyon effect on the treble. Uh, but it is more rolled off than some. Comparing it to something like the Etymotic Etymod ER4S, um, it's noticeably less treble to my ears. I will say that a lot of problems that you have with earphones is that everybody's ears are different, and everybody's ear canal acts as an acoustic chamber. Now, with a phone like the Etymotic ER4S, it goes to the second bend of your earphone if you're wearing it properly, which is very deep. And that eliminates a lot of that space in your ear canal so that reflections and resonances and whatnot are, are very minimal or non-existent. So, you know, between users, if you're wearing them properly, you can get a pretty consistent comparison and each person should hear roughly the same thing. With a shallow fit earphone like this, you have a much longer ear canal with bending and that allows a lot of resonances and, and peaks to form um, unfortunately, so between users you might hear a noticeably different sound. Um, however, you can wear these somewhat deeply if you put the appropriate size tips in and, and you insert them, you know, further than normal. And what that tends to do for me is just create a little bit more of a, not bassy, but just a more muffled, low prominent sound. Um, but in general, I would say these are a very smooth frequency response. So just to show you on a, a piece of paper here, um, I would say that these, you know, if you were to compare something like the Etymotic ER4S, there's sort of a drop in the sub bass, but then for the most part it's flat with a little bit of a peak at the 2.5 kHz, something like that, and then relatively flat overall. Um, the Rockets, on the other hand, I would say... You know, they might be a little bit low in the very, very subby bass area. However, that could just be a little bit of masking from the mid bass. Because I hear them being a little bit prominent in the mid bass, but again, very smooth. And then they kind of gradually roll off in the treble area. Um, so some people might call that, you know, focused on the mid range, mid centric, whatever you want to call that. I don't really hear it as much as being mid centric as I just strictly hear the treble being too relaxed and too rolled off. Um, with EQ, I can essentially shift, you know, I can make an EQ that shifts the treble up in just a straight line, which basically, you know, turns this um, to where it looks more like this. And it becomes a much more reference sounding earphone to me. Um, I don't, again, there are a few small areas I could tweak with EQ, but overall there's no noticeable peaks or dips. Um, so in that regard, this earphone is very, very high quality, has a very smooth frequency response. Um, personally, I wouldn't say it's reference enough without EQ for me to want to listen to regularly. Um, however, it is definitely in the, the top, top end of the earphones that I've heard. Some people may prefer that sound, and I think the goal that they had with that is it's very relaxed, and it literally is not fatiguing at all. I feel like I could listen to these for hours, and no songs would irritate me. Um, the good thing about that is that as you listen to them for hours, you do sort of become accustomed to the sound, and they sound less... Um, muffled, I would say, than when you first put them in your ears, because you kind of adapt to the sound. I'd say they're never as as reference, even after an adaptation, as something like the Etymotic. But nonetheless, you know, you sort of adapt to them. They sound really good. They're comfortable. They're non-fatiguing, and it just makes for a really enjoyable music experience. Um, they go for about two hundred and fifty dollars, I believe, in that price range. I personally would buy the ER4S over these, um, but. At the same time, these are comfortable, easier to power, they're louder at any given volume, they're easier to insert, 
Um, they're less fatiguing than the ER4S default. So, you know, some people might prefer these over the Edemotic. Um, I'd say that the Edemotic is simply more accurate, and in that regard, I'd prefer that, because I prefer to listen to more accurate response in general. Um, so I'd recommend trying these if you get a chance. They definitely are relaxing, smooth, clean, high-quality audio with just a more relaxed treble. Now, I have heard some people claim that they have uh, a good treble response with these, and they don't have as much roll-off, if any. Again, that could be due to the differences in our ears, um, but nonetheless, for me personally, I find them rolled off enough that it's noticeable, um, and to me, that just kind of detracts from the transparency. Room, rooms and ambience and things don't come across as being natural. I don't believe that I'm listening to a jazz recording in a jazz room. Um, it just sounds like it's not enough open natural trouble for that to give the effect of realism. It's not. I'm not saying it's bad, and it does sound very good. It's just not that completely transparent, neutral sound that I get from the ER4S or a similar earphone. Um, but uh, otherwise, the quality is very good. The cable's superb. Um, it comes with a little Rockets pouch, which is just a sort of a leatherish um, case. It comes with a carabiner hooked on the inside there, and a second pocket in the front here. And then it has the three sizes of ear tips. They're just single flange ear tips. And then you get the Rocket flange backs there, whatever you call those. And then you get the anti loops, um, which act as a stabilizer while they're in your ear. And that's just the instructions here. Basically, when you're writing them over the ear, you install them as, as shown in the picture there, and uh, they act as that stabilizer. Now, to show you uh, Narl Sagan's set, um, this is a black cable, which I think is, is very nice. I actually prefer it over the other cable, just myself. And same, same everything else, but it's just black. The Y adapter looks nice. It blends with the cable more. I like the little red stripe on the cord lock and on the earpieces there's a snug very snug uh, ring for red and blue and what I've been doing is if you just gently pull that ring down you can feel it so that at night if you're not looking you can go like this and say okay that's the left and this won't move like at all it's pretty snug <clears throat> um, I'm not sure if this was glued at one point but when I got it it was already shifted a little bit so I just kind of move it around a little you could probably super glue it if you wanted to, but nonetheless, uh, it's very good for visually identifying and then also physically identifying. And these tips are uh, Malek tips, and I I buy these in packs of uh, you know various tips, and you can try them on all your earphones to see if you know they give you a different sound signature, more comfort, whatever. I find that these work the best with these earphones. The stock ear tips are a little bit sticky like they they grip which makes them a little bit harder for me to easily get in my ears and uh, these here allow a deeper more smooth insertion so I, once I, once they're in and they settle uh, they sound essentially the same but these are just a lot easier to use so in a nutshell that's the orasonic rockets um, if you have any questions uh, or you want to know anything else please leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it as best as I can and uh, thank you very much for watching.